Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's video. Today I want to do a tutorial on how I got this burgundy color in my hair. But first I'm going to do a short initial review on the hair that I'm wearing. So I'm wearing Lavi Hair Company hair and I got three bundles and a closure. And the closure is a 4x4 lace closure and it's 16 inches. The hair I got was 18 inch, 20 inch, and 22 inch. And it's really long and I got Brazilian straight. So my thing about the hair is there are no cons. This hair is like perfect. And I'm really, it's just nothing bad I can say about the hair because there is like no tangling as you can see. I mean, <laughs> you can see it for yourself. There is no tangling of this hair and there is barely any shedding. I colored, washed, blow dried, and straightened this hair and there's no shedding. When I was washing the hair, there's like maybe two strands that came from this hair and that's it. I've been combing, running my fingers through the hair all day and it's just, I'm getting nothing, nothing. So there's like really no cons about this hair so that's why I'm doing this short re review of this hair. It's like nothing bad I can say about this hair and it's perfect. So I'm 5'5 five five, and like I said, I got 18, 20, and 22. And I'll show you guys where the hair comes. It's like right here. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but it comes like right at the bottom, the um, lower part of my back. So it's really long and it just is so soft. The packaging of the hair was so cute. I got this bag. It came in, the bundles came in a bag in the closure, and the the bundles came in their separate little packages that were packaged really, really nicely, and the closure came in a separate package as well. So, that's all I have to say about the hair. Now getting into the color. So, the color was scary for me. It was my first time ever coloring anything myself, so... I knew I wanted to like do like a red tone thing so I decided to go with like a burgundy and I did ombre because I wasn't sure about doing like everything burgundy so the hair came out nicely I know you guys probably cannot see it that well on camera it's not coming off um, as burgundy on camera so I'll just insert some pictures but it came out pretty much how exactly how I wanted it I might do another um, color just to get it like you know bold burgundy where you can like really see it but I don't know I'm sort of liking it just like it is but I don't know so that's all pretty much everything I have to say about the hair and the color so if you want to see how I color it with the hair just keep watching I use 40 volume developer I'm using three packages of magenta and I'm using one package of red and I also used foil in this tutorial. So I'm putting all three magentas in the mixing bowl and I put just a little bit of red because at this point I was really nervous about being all red. I just wanted something very burgundy. So I just put a little bit of the red in there, not a lot, but later on I ended up using the rest of the red. I have no idea where the footage is of me putting in the developer, but I just add the developer, just put some in there and just mixed it up. So I ended up doing the closure first, but somehow that footage got deleted. But here you see me coloring the 18 inch of hair and I'm just evenly distributing the color and I'm making sure that I go in between the hair so I can get all of the hair because I did keep it in the bundle. I did not take the bundle apart and you also, you can't see it, but I'm not going all the way to the top because I wanted it to be ombre.
So here you see me adding some red because at that point I saw that I was running out. So I knew I had to stretch my color. I ended up having to use the rest of the red which I really didn't want to do so I was so scared because I did not want to have the Little Mermaid look. Not that that is a bad thing because I've seen some people pull it off but I just did not want that look. Here you see me just going into a bundle that I had already colored to make sure that it had been evenly distributed. So I like completely ran out of color so I ended up using the red enhancer that came in the red box. It was just a bunch of drips of red I guess. So I ended up using the rest of that. At that point, I was just trying to scrape up any color that I could. When I unraveled the hair from the foil after 30 to 40 minutes, I was really upset because the hair seemed to still be black so I didn't know what was going on so at that point I was just like let me just wash it out because there's nothing I can do about it but as I see now as time went on and the hair dried and I after I strained it I saw that it was turning to the burgundy color that it is now so now you see me washing and conditioning my hair all I did afterwards was dry it out for a little bit then I proceeded to make my wig and if you're interested in how I make my wigs I'll leave the link down below and all I did was blow dry it out after I made my wig and then I straightened it out. So that's all for the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did please thumbs it up. Please comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Baby, what's wrong with you?
you make me feel some type of way I'm on this song with you you say you gon' do this and that when I'm alone with you But when we link up, we get nervous, boy, what's wrong with us?